President Yoweri Museveni arrived on time to open the fourth session of the 11th parliament, which sat in Kololo ceremonial grounds. In his address on the state of the nation, President Yoweri Museveni reminded the legislators how the NRM principles enhanced the economy. Our conclusion was that prosperity could only come from each adult person engaging in producing a good or a service sustainably and selling it. President says Uganda produces surplus products including sugar, cement, steel products among others and because of patriotism and pan-Africanism, the market has been created in both East and Central Africa. I didn't talk about maize, about bananas, about beef, you know what is happening. It is Africa that is supporting us and we are also supporting them. Therefore, the NRM was right to distill the principles of patriotism and pan-Africanism and to oppose groups that were pushing for parochialism in Uganda and Eurocentrism globally. On the principle of social economic transformation, the president says government has provided grants to those people who have no capital. These funds are mainly for the low-income people. The actors that are more empowered should, should borrow from the Uganda Development Bank for agriculture, for manufacturing, and some of the services such as tourism. Uganda now has entered the lower middle income status. We have just entered the, the ground floor. The president also reminded the public how the East African community was revived despite calamities caused by the past leaders. Addressing the matter of corruption, the president, who has for long questioned the evidence of alleged corrupt public servants, says he has acquired enough and reliable information. I have been hearing that from Minister of Finance, they are they arranged with the accounting officers of ministries to come to Parliament, working with some people there, to provide certain funds, provided you take a share. I didn't believe this, but now I have proof. The president reveals that some people take advantage of desperate politicians and charge them high interest rates. In disguise of money lending, this was followed by an applause from the congregation. When they come to borrow money for unuseful expenditures, I've already directed the Minister of Finance to cap the interest rates chargeable by money lenders. So I don't know how we can arrange uh, how, how we can arrange what do you call it? Amnesty. No amnesty. Very good. So you, 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 you want blood? Magaram Sai. Kare katukatukende maso. President Museveni, however, asked that fighting the corrupt should be categorized into the mistake makers who merely need counseling, dishonest people and foreign agents. That's why many times I, I, I try to, to help out groups who have made mistakes. But what I cannot tolerate is like this question of saying, we give money to this ministry, but we take, we take a percentage of it as, 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 as individual. This is, this, is, this is dishonesty. It's not a mistake, it's a crime, it's a betrayal. You go and make a bad report against the government of Uganda. And we shall give you an award. And the award will, will have so much money attached to it in Europe. I wish them good luck. That money of, of betrayal. What is worrying, however, is whether the president's forgivable category of the mistake makers won't act as an emergency window of exit from the law by the already incurable corrupt. 
Because if we are to, to, to punish all the mistake makers, we will have nobody to work with. As per the procedure, the Speaker of Parliament, Anit Anita Among, in her communication, briefed the President on the achievements and challenges during the concluded third session of the Parliament. In addition there, there has been a tremendous improvement in the quality of legislative output. To this end, Parliament held 87 sittings during which five all were administered, five all we administered five new members of Parliament. Speaker Anita Among says 47 bills, including 23 to foster rationalization of government agencies were passed in the last one year. The 11th Parliament supports the effort of executive in streamlining government operations, enhancing efficiency, and ensuring that the public resources are efficiently and effectively used. Speaker Among hailed President Museveni and the First Lady Janet Museveni, who also doubles as the Minister for Education and Sports, for empowering and financially supporting sports in Uganda with the evidence that Nambole Stadium was given a new look. Your Excellency, the return of these home games to Nambole wouldn't have been really possible if you didn't have passion and love for your country. And if mama didn't have passion and love for this young young people with the talents. President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has urged Ugandans to audit what the NRM has done for the country ever since its coming into power. The president has asked the country or the public to look into the three historical missions of the NRM, including the prosperity for the African people, that is Uganda inclusive, and the issue of strategic security. According to the president, the tremendous contribution which the NRM has done for the country can only be crippled, that is by corruption. Daniel Mugoya, UBC News.